Hey, what's up everyone? Gonna hop on here, do a quick re video review of the uh, Briggs & Stratton uh, spark plug for the Briggs & Stratton mower, or motor that I have in my Craftsman T110 riding lawnmower. Now I picked these up here on Amazon and uh, this is actually the Briggs & Stratton. You can see the logo there. It actually matches the Briggs & Stratton logo. So this is the OEM part that is supposed to go in. Um, that's kind of the reason why I picked these particular up. It did come in a two pack so I can get this two seasons out of it. I do actually change the spark plug every season. And since the season's coming up, I'll show you guys the install. Overall, again, I picked it up because it is the because it's the OEM part. It's what's supposed to go in there. Uh, it is also a copper tip. I mean, it's, since it's a lawnmower engine and not a high-performance car engine, there's no reason to go with the super crazy iridium tips or even uh, I think ruthenium is like the new the new highest metal right now. It's a basic it's a basic copper tip that's just going to last and give you uh, give you performance all season long. Um, so basically here to do the install, it's kind of simple. I'm going to show you here. Uh, basically, you're going to want to find your ignition wire, and you're going to find the ignition wire on the top of the spark plug. Basically, you're going to pop that off there with your hand. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take a spark plug socket. This one here is 5 8 and you can tell it's a spark plug socket. I'll see if I can get it here on camera. And there's like a little rubber ring inside the socket that actually grabs onto the end of the, uh, of the spark plug so that you can pull it out of a cylinder head. It's not so much a need here on a lawnmower because it's exposed, we can just go and grab it, but just make sure that it is a spark plug uh, socket. Or if you don't have a spark plug socket, a regular 5 8 deep, deep socket will do. So basically, come on there and then you're just gonna back it out of the hole. And then as you can see, this is actually why it needs replacing. The end of it actually becomes fouled with carbon. And over a long enough time period, this will actually start to misfire. You start backfiring with the lawnmower, all kinds of stuff. Um, but again, it is, I just like to do it every season because it's not like you're going 50,000 miles between changes on a car. But again, basically take the old spark plug out. And for comparison, you can see what the new one looks like. You want to make sure, now one thing you want to make sure when you do actually buy spark plugs, the number of threads or basically the amount of threads you want them to be equal. You do not want way more threads than the other one or you're going to run into potentially the piston actually hitting this and then you're going to have a whole lot of issues and it's because you put the wrong start, uh, wrong plug in, you're going to have to replace the motor. So again, just make sure that the, that's about the same length before you put them in. Then one thing I like to do is I like to take a little bit of anti-seize and I like to put that on the threads here. So when that goes in, what this is, this is just like a little... Uh, aluminum lubricant so what this does this prevents basically the threads from rusting to the side of the of the block or the head rather where the um where the where the spark plug goes in so next time when you go to take this out and replace it you're not going to break anything it'll come out just like butter now it doesn't actually take a whole lot once you put it in there um, just make sure you don't get any on the actual uh, electrode itself but what will happen is now as I work this into the block, all of the, uh, the threads will actually work the anti-seize into all of the threads. Now, once you get this fitted into here, it's, it's important that you start the threads by hand. If you can't do this by hand, that means you have it cross-threaded and the plug actually has to come out. Um, if, again, if, if you have something cross-threaded, you're going to ruin the threads or you're going to basically cause yourself a lot of headaches next season. So what you're going to do here, again, feed it in as much as you can by hand and the anti-seize is going to help you feed it in by hand. And again, if you can't do this, You've done something wrong, back up and try it again. Then once we've done everything we can by hand, we're just gonna take our take our socket here, no need to torque it down. Just get it, just get it kind of good and tight there. Take it off and then basically take your plug, which you're gonna pop onto the end here. You're gonna kind of feel it click and then you're done. There's a replacement on your, uh, on your spark plug on your lawnmower. It's a simple job. It's a couple of bucks each season, but just make sure that you do it. And I recommend getting the OEM plug like you saw in this video. If you want, I'll also tag the uh, tag the ratchet in here. If you want, I'll also tag the ratchet in one. Hey, real quick, if you like what you see in this video and you want to purchase one for yourself, I've left links to everything here in the description. And if you want more no-nonsense, no BS product reviews, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel and hit the, uh, hit the bell so you don't miss one.